Hello everyone, this is Ariel Type. In this video, I'm going to show you a game which was played by jo Joseph Henry Blackburn when he had the black pieces against the King's Gambit. In this game, he had the black pieces and white started with e4. Uh, black played e5, and therefore this is the King's Gambit. And after e takes f4, white played bishop c4, known as the Bishop's Gambit. Normally, white plays knight f3 to prevent black from playing queen h4 check. But here, white play bishop c4 and allow black to do it. Uh, the most frequently played move here is queen to h4 check directly, but then after king f1, white can simply play like knight f3 and d4, just kick the queens away and take the pawn on f4. So uh, in the game, black first played d5, a counter gambit, and after bishop takes d5, only now he give a check. The different here, the different here is that the, the light square bishop is already open since the the d pawn is no longer on the board. So black played g5 in order to consolidate the pawn on f4. That way he is not a target of this dark square bishop. He's no longer a target. Black white played g3, s takes g3, and of course white cannot take the pawn on g3 because basically the pawn is pinned to the rook. So white played kind of a terrible blunder. He played king to g2. I don't want to say it's a losing move, but uh, much better was queen f3 with the, the intention of playing uh, queen takes f7, and if uh, black tried to defend it with knight, knight to h6, for example, or maybe f6, to block the queen's access to the f7 square, then white, now white can take on g3, because the rook is already defended by the queen. So black has to play queen g4, and then queen trade, of course, and the position is very interesting. Of course, white is not forced to trade, he can just play queen b3, but never mind. Uh, white played king g2, uh, in order to make sure that if black take on h2, white can take with the rook and then put his king back on the h1 square. Uh, which black could could have done, by the way, then just trade queens over here. I oh, know trading queens is instantly losing because of the b7 pawn is hanging. So uh, basically it's not a good idea. Even in the, the other variation when I, where I mentioned that after uh, queen f3, f6, h takes g3, now I see that queen g4 straightforwardly loses. Because then the b7 pawn hangs and, and black lose, lose the rook. So never mind. So you cannot play uh, this. Queen f3 was the best move. But king g2 is not, not all that good. Black played bishop to d6 in order to make sure that white cannot take on g3. Because then just queen takes g3 check. So uh, bishop d6, white laid h3 in order to prevent black from taking on h2. And this pawn... It's kind of an asset, but it's also a liability. I mean, it's it's kind of strange, because because black has a pawn on g3, the g file is closed. You see, black has two g pawns, and the g pawn can be quite annoying for black. Actually, it prevents him from actually developing an attack properly. Without this pawn, black could easily play queen g3 check. But in other in, in the other side, um, this pawn is quite a nice pawn as well because it prevents white from moving freely, like rook h2 and king h1. White cannot play king f2. Uh, it's kind of restricting white's pieces. So it's a double edge. I mean, it, it's also an asset. It's also a liability. It's it's kind of strange. Never mind. Black played knight h7 in order to maneuver the knight to the weak f4 square and harass white kings, and that way he can finally pushed the pawn so white played knight f3 attacking the queen queen to h5 and knight to c3 white keep developing the pieces knight to g6 black intends to play knight to f4 and white played g4 uh, d4 excuse me um and after d4 black uh, played bishop f4 offering a trade of bishops and here i wanted to pause the video and find out white has one very nice saving resource which by the way uh white missed it over the game so pause the video and find out how can how white can uh, save this position okay i hope you find it the move is well just before i show you don't forget to drop a like to this video leave a thumbs up because it really helped me to grow this channel in the game, white uh, just played knight to e2, which I'll, I will come back to this move later. But the best line was bishop takes on f7 with check, because if black play king takes f7, now there is knight to e5 check, and there is a discover attack on the queen. And black simply lose the queen, so after bishop takes f7, the bishop is untouchable, but then white just simply can take the knight, or even can take 
for example, just to show you. Bishop takes f7, king moves to f8, for example, then bishop takes on g not even bishop takes, just bishop takes, ah, uh, no, bishop takes on f4, there is knight takes on f4 with check and then picking up the bishop. So, I mean, basically, it may, it may be the best just to take here, trading bishops, although it kind of allows this check with the light square bishop, so it's very interesting to analyze this even further. Uh, might just might might just play knight to g1 to hold the pawn, and if queen trade the knight takes, and yeah, black has this triple pawns on the g file, and if I'm not mistaken, black is no, it's not, it's not down upon the material is equal, but there is like triple pawns, so um, bishop takes f7 was definitely the best. But in the game, white played knight to e2, and this is a horrific blunder. I, I suggest you to pause the video and find out black has mate in 2. So pause the video and find out how can black win this position. Okay, I hope you found it. The move is queen takes on f3, and in this position, white resigned. First of all, the queen cannot be captured, because then there is just knight to h4 mate, and a uh, very nice mate, by the way, but if the king goes back to g1, then there is just queen to f2 checkmate. So, um, yeah, quite a nice finish. Queen takes f3, I think it's... Let's see, what move? The third, the 13. In, in 12 moves, black won the game. Quite, a, quite a outstanding. Uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you did, leave, leave a like to this video. It really helps me to grow this channel. And also subscribe for uh, future videos. Because if you will uh, subscribe and click the, the bell icon, I will notify you whenever I, I come up with a new video and a very nice game like this one. So don't forget to do it. And if you want to see more attacking games, you can check out the, the video which is on the screen right now, where I show you a game of Rashid Nezmeddinov, where he made a brutal queen sacrifice. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next time. Goodbye.